yeah, we put the hunt on in conjunction with the Winter Carnival. Um, they're all about the greatest celebration uh, in the cold. We're all about the best secret in the Twin Cities. This is our winner, uh, Ken Cole. Sorry, Ken. Um, I do apologize because on the press release I said Kent, but it is Ken. Uh, and Ken, how did you find it? Well, putting together the clues, I've been here the last three days, Tony and I, and looking up at the other end for a while, but with the clue uh, mentioning hill and arch and the wade for the lake and or the beach, uh, we went to that hill, and that's where that would plus Phelan in the clue with Edward Phelan and uh, the reference to, I think, the clue in 1973 was Zelinsky is our hero. We we came here and when, when I went up on the hill, and Tony came in a little while later. He was pushing the snow to me. I was turning it over and I seen the bottom of the can and I about froze and I knew, I, I just, in my heart, I knew I found it. And I told Tony, look down at my hole and he just, his eyes lit up and we, I picked it up and put it in my pocket. I first here and then I went, no, it could fall out. I put it here and we looked a little more and Tony's going, well, it might not be, it's just a can and I went, we got to go back to the car. This is getting, I can't not go see what's in this. And then we pried the can open and I could see the snow man, woman, and the, the magnifying glass. And I just, I told Tony we found it. He, he, we just, <laughs> since then, it's just been a whirlwind of amazement going on right now with all you people and hundreds of people around us. And I wanted everybody to see it, I wanted them to, come over and so uh, share it with the, with the, with everybody here because everybody's looking real hard. Instead of leaving, I want everybody to know they stop looking and see it. And we went back up to where I found it. And it's just been a whirlwind since then. Of, 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 of unbelievable. Just, just, well, uh, what time do you start hunting today? I was here at, I suppose about a little after nine and I found it a little before too. Awesome. And yeah. where are you from? I'm from uh, Forest Lake, but I'm originally from Roseville, and Tony's from Arden Hills. Mount Mount area. And how long have you guys been hunting? I've been hunting since 1990. All right. <laughs> and Tony has been looking for with, with me and two others who dropped away for the last 12 years. And I've known Tony He's from the same high school, Kellogg, go Chargers. Well, now it's Rose Valeria School, but um, for about 12 years, he and I have been looking. Well, Pioneer Press appreciates you looking for this. And of course, we have the $10,000 prize. <laughs> and, uh, Woo! Woo! Whoa, Tony. Nice. Good job. What are you going to do with that money? Right, you know, it couldn't have been a better time. My daughter's getting married, and dresses, and and uh, uh, just DJs and all the bills for that. But you know, the rest, I suppose, into if there's anything left in the savings. So, so let me ask you a question: Do you noodle on your own, or do you use a message board and, and Facebook, or how do you? I everything? I'm pretty much yeah. looking on my. I don't really respond. <laughs> Very rarely, but I do on the snap or on the chats. Uh -huh. um, but I'm I like trying to figure it out without getting swayed with. But I still look on the. Did chat. you see what Ben put on there today? The yeah, he revealed a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Did that help you or not? Yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of times the forum will give uh -huh. you tidbits you didn't think of. I think we'd like to do a shout out to Ben and to everybody that noodles on Facebook community event. I think that's great. Yeah, it's all about great. working together. Yeah. <laughs> Could you hold up that medallion again, Carlos? Oh, here's a can too. Well, the can oh, had, it was bent over and it had uh, a Sun Lucky corn, stir fry corn label on it, but uh, that got kind of wrecked, but I still have pieces of it in the car that I want to save. And uh, I could see that. I could see the snowman and the magnifying glass when I started opening up the can and got to that point. I just looked at Tony and said, we found it. 
What a what a rush. Can you leave that up there? So my local historian, uh, Jesse, uh, put this together for us. Um, it was found in Phelan in 1973, in uh, 1983, and 2004. Uh, it was also found between Keller and Phelan in 1958. It's, uh, this is only the eighth time it was found on Clue 10. And it's the seventh time it's been found on a Tuesday, and the ninth time it's been found on the January 31st. A little history. Three years yes, in a I, row. Yeah. Three we years were now. using doing that, looking at the past when they said uh, prattle. They I believe they referred to it in that in 2004. I was here with. I got to say this, Kirk Condy. I have looked with Kirk for okay. eight years before he had a heart attack, and Kirk and I ran over that hill in 2004 and down into the ravine. But there were references in that clue of what we put together you know prattle and it was in in east and west and all you know that was mirroring past hunts from here but kirk condy i, <laughs> I gotta say i just I'm, I'm i'm dedicating this 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 hunt this medallion this find to kirk condy awesome. great guy he was, so three times you know, no kurt he was a great, great guy. <laughs> do you guys have any questions Anybody got any questions? Congratulations! Yeah, yeah congratulations! congratulations. I said it's a wrap. Thank you. I like it.